Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Barbara and if you love budget friendly home decor DIYs, I hope you'll stick around by clicking on the subscribe button and the notification bell. To all my current subscribers, thank you so much. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Today I'm going to be making over a small dresser that was gifted to my husband and I by a couple that are moving and did not want to take it with them. So let's jump right on in to this dresser makeover. This is an MDF dresser, so it's not made of real wood, but overall it is in really good shape and I love the design of it. It does have some scratches and dings and a few stains on it, but the great thing about it is it came with feet. Now one of them has broken off, so I'm going to see if I can repair that. But first, I really need to give this a good thorough cleaning. So I'm going to lay a drop cloth out just to protect my carpet since I'm doing this inside. It is super cold outside. So once I have that in place, I am going to take my vacuum cleaner and remove any and all of the dust and debris so I can get a good fresh start so I can go through and really clean this. So I'm going to flip it over first to see if I can repair the foot that has broken off. It's just a piece that has broken off on the corner. I'm using some Gorilla Glue. I'm going to attach that or apply that all over this MDF piece. Then I can replace that piece on there and use a few clamps to hold it in place and let that glue set. So while I'm waiting for that glue to set up, I'm going to start cleaning this dresser and I am using Mr. Clean Deep Cleaning Mist. They have a lavender scent and a lemon scent. It is just a hint of lavender and it smells so good. It's not overpowering. This is a great product to clean with. I have this listed in my Amazon store in my description box below if you are interested. It does a fantastic job really cleaning this dresser up. I'm going to go over the entire outside of this dresser, the inside. I just want to make sure all of the debris is removed and I have a nice, clean, fresh start on this. As I'm going through, I'm also going to tighten up anything that has worked itself loose. I'm also cleaning those beautiful decorative feet as well as all of the drawer inserts. And I'm going to go ahead and remove all of the hardware from the drawers and set those to the side. So like I said, this stuff really cleans so well. You just spray this light mist over it, let it set for just a minute or two, and it just wipes right off. Now this dresser did have quite a few stains, but I am trying my best to remove all of the stains to avoid having to paint the outside of the dresser because I already liked the white color that's on there. So if I can get all of these stains removed, I won't have to paint that. So there were a few very, very stubborn stains. So never underestimate the power of bleach. I'm going to mix up a three to one ratio of bleach and water. So three parts bleach, one part water. I'm just going to dab that into the bleach mixture apply it to these very stubborn stains and let it set for about 15 minutes. Then I'll go back in and with some elbow grease and scraping it with my fingernail, I was finally able to remove some of these extremely stubborn stains. Make sure that you go back in and wipe that off and rinse it off with a clean wet rag to remove any of that bleach mixture that's already on there. While that glue is still setting, I'm going to go ahead and reattach that foot to make sure it's going to stay in place and also provide some added pressure right there where I placed the glue. And I'll go ahead and add the remaining feet as well. So once the glue set, I'll remove the clamps and I am using some plastic wood filler and I'm going to fill in that crack in the front and on the left hand side. I don't worry about the bottom part too much because you won't be able to see that once the dresser is sitting upright. 
After that dries, I'll take some sandpaper and sand it down nice and smooth. And if I need to go back in, I can touch it up with a little bit of paint. So it looks so beautiful with these feet on the bottom. Now it is time to really work on the top and get it cleaned. Now I was able to remove most of those stubborn stains on the top using that bleach mixture, but there are some dents and cracks. And I'm gonna be painting this, so I am taking some sandpaper. It's 150 grit, going over some of those dings and scratches to really make sure they're nice and smooth and then I'm going to take my 220 grit sanding block and go over the entire top part of the dresser since I will be painting this and it is such a smooth finish I want to make sure that my paint has something to really adhere to then I'll go in wipe everything off remove any and all of that sanding dust and I'm going to do the same thing to the recessed parts of the drawers. So now that I have sanded those and wiped them down, I'm going to be painting the recessed part with Deco Art gray chalk paint in the color Artifact. I also have this listed in my Amazon store if you are interested. I'm going to use a detailed angled brush to really carefully go around this to make sure I don't get it on the outside of the drawer but if you like you could always go in and tape that up I'm just taking my time going through there so I didn't have to do that extra added step of tape after I get that first coat applied I'm going to make sure that I do all of the recessed parts on the drawers allow it to dry and then I'm going to take that 220 grit sanding block go over it very lightly to make sure the brush strokes and everything's nice and smooth and even. And then I would remove that sanding dust and give this a second coat on all four drawers. And it is just a gorgeous, beautiful gray color. I absolutely love this color paint. So while they're drying, now I can go and start working on the top of the dresser, which I'm going to use the same gray paint. I'm starting off by going around the outside edging with that detailed angled brush, really taking my time. And because this is like a white, smooth MDF, if you happen to get this chalk paint somewhere else, you can always take a wet baby wipe and wipe it right off while the paint is still wet. Using a chalk brush, I'm going to apply the first coat all going in the same direction and allow that to thoroughly dry. Once it has dried, I'm going to take my sanding block and go over the entire top part of this dresser to smooth it out and again make sure that I come back in, wipe everything down, and remove any of the sanding dust. The second coat I'm going to apply in the opposite direction so that it will give me this nice almost like fabric pattern on the top with the two different brush strokes going in different directions. I allow that to dry and I will sand it smooth again as well, removing the sanding dust. To protect my chalk paint, I am applying Krylon Clear Sealing Wax. You can find this at your local home improvement store. I also have it listed in my Amazon store if you're interested. I am applying it with a lint-free cloth and then I am taking a clean lint-free cloth and blending it in and removing any of the excess and I'm going all in one direction. Allow your wax to set up and dry. I am also going to go over all of those recessed panels on the drawer fronts and you can apply one to two coats. Just make sure that your wax dries in between those two coats. Once everything has dried, I can now reattach my hardware to the front and I opted to keep the knobs white because I love the way they pop out on the front of this gray drawer. Now I can put all my drawers back together and you guys, this piece turned out so beautiful. It did not cost me anything. I already had the sealing wax, the chalk paint, the cleaner, everything on hand. And I absolutely love how it turned out. It just goes to show to think twice before you throw something out because you could really repurpose it, give it new life, and really customize it to your style. I would really love to know what you guys think of my free dresser makeover. Let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed today's video, please give me a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Please take care. And I will see you guys next time.